Hi angels, what's up? Welcome back to Vlogmas. Uh, for today's Vlogmas, we're gonna do a closet tour and that's all we're gonna do, only because I was a complete and utter goof. And the other day, whilst cleaning out my memory card on my camera, I thought I had already dumped it onto my computer. And I hadn't, and I erased my memory card and all of the vlogging that went along with it that would have been today. I felt like such an idiot, like such an idiot. I feel like my brain's been mush lately, honestly. Uh, anyway, but because of that, again, don't wanna leave you hanging. I feel like we've been doing well with Vlogmas so far and I wanna keep that up. So we are gonna do a closet tour today. I'm just gonna show you how I set things up. I'll go through a couple of tips with you and just so show the lay of the land with you. And then on the vlog that I'm actually filming today, um, I am going to walk you through a closet purge because I like to get rid of stuff at least uh, once a season just to make sure that everything I have is a true picture of what I want to use and Yeah, so you'll have to stay tuned for tomorrow's video to see that and I know this is like a very moody lip I was kind of feeling it today. I know it's outside my color palette So for those color critics that like to point that out, I'm aware I do color analysis So no worries. It was just what I was feeling today. I was loving it so we're just gonna roll with it, you know? You gotta honor how you feel. So let's spin you around and show you what my closet looks like. Okay, so when you walk in the room, oh, there's the dogs, hi, honey. Both of them passed out. <laughs> um, I First off, I will show you the rest of the room, um, but not in this video. We'll do separate tours of like my desk space and beauty space. So today we're just gonna focus on the closet. So here is the closet, which I love. It goes all the way up with all those boxes, which we will address. But this closet is one that Sean built for me because he's very, very handy. Um, and because this is a temporary space and you guys know that we're looking to move, I did not want to invest in an Ikea closet or California closet or like anything like that because it's just so not worth it. So you'll see once we get up close, like a lot of the drawers have dings and damages on it and they're actually not finished off properly, but that's because... I really honestly didn't want to put any money behind it. So we just bought the raw materials, Sean built it, and this is what he's come up with. So I'm really happy with it. I still think it's beautiful and it's nice and bright, which is what I like. So um, with the closet, this is a picture of everything that I use and wear with the exception of evening dresses. I have that in a separate bedroom and also my coats that I'm wearing currently in the winter are in the front closet. And as well as like my everyday like boots, those are also by the front door, so they're for easy grab. Otherwise, everything is here. This is also currently, because we're filming this obviously in December, this is all like my winter stuff or season less pieces. So anything that's summer specific, I store away. And I also recommend you guys doing the same thing just because there's no point in staring at things in your closet that you physically can't wear. It's just a waste of space and it adds to the clutter. So you start saying to yourself, I have nothing to wear in the morning, you know? So we're going to break down the closet in sections here and I'll walk you through it and then I'll, there's any tips that I can provide, I will let you know. The first tip, um, before I dive into the first section, if you look, you will see that I've got uniform hangers everywhere and what I use, which I'll show you, are these, uh, hold on, it's not focusing. I use these like velvet style hangers. I don't know if you guys will be able to see that have these like little hooks on the front so you can add pieces here. But the friction of the material of that like velvet or like micro suede, if you will, um, is great because it holds onto your clothing really well so they won't slip off the hanger. And if you have camis, they have nice little grooves in here for you to hang the cami so again, it doesn't fall off everything. So it's a huge um, space saver if you get a, the same hanger to run through your whole closet. And these ones are so thin, so it doesn't take up a lot of room, which is what I love. So um, I, you can get these kinds at like the dollar store. I had gotten these, if you guys are in Canada, as storage solutions. You can get them in like a bulk pack. But I highly recommend getting the same uh, hanger throughout. And if you're getting one that's a nicer grade like this, um, it'll also make sure that you're not damaging your clothing either. Okay, which we'll talk about. Okay, Angel, so the first section of my closet is one that I really love because it's all like duster jackets and long pieces. If you guys haven't noticed, I really love long layers, not only because they match the scale of my height, but because I just love them. Like, they're just my jam, you know what I mean? So in a future closet, when Sean and I do move, it is a section of my closet I would like to expand on because I really have to reel myself in on the longer layer pieces I choose because I love them so much. Um, it's something honestly I could fill my closet with 
like in an obnoxious amount. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I, and the reason I love them is I find them so versatile. So I just picked up this piece not too long ago from Zara. You guys actually would have seen this in my photo shoot, um, picture like the Christmassy shots. So what I had done it has done it up, but I tucked all of this into that gold pleated skirt to give it a little bit more versatility, but I could easily wear this with like jean, like black denim and a sleek black shirt underneath or a bodysuit and put this over top as this like elegant kind of layer or I could put this over top of a dress or like I don't know I could dress it down with like ripped jeans and a beanie and a hat and a t-shirt like do you know what I'm saying like there's so many ways that you can style stuff like this which is why I personally love them so much or I can even belt this and put it with leggings you know like I just love tunics and long jackets like oh it's so good um another favorite piece of mine in my closet that's probably a little bit wrinkly right now is a super 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 long uh, duster. This was from Revolve. It's by the brand, let me see if I can find it, Lovers and Friends. And this is called an Evening Trench. And again, it's got this fabulous drape. So it just so luxe for the evening time. And I love that it's cream, so more in my palette. And uh, yeah, I just think this is so elegant, like with heels and something as simple as jeans and like a silk camisole. I think this looks absolutely spectacular. Um, but of course I can make it more casual with like knits and scarves and things like that too. But, oh, this is definitely one of my favorite items in my closet. I sat on this like purchase cause it was around, I think 250 or so Canadian, which is not like, it's expensive, but it's not like crazy, crazy expensive. And I was just more worried that I was going to get the cream dirty cause I am a bit of a klutz, but, uh, yeah, like I wear it all the time. I love it. It was such a, I was so happy when I finally got it. So that's why I always tell you guys, like, get things that you know make you happy because then you're going to want to wear it, right? You'll come up with more outfits for it. You'll come up with more reasons to wear it. That's what you want in your closet. You should be excited about the things you see, you know? So as I mentioned to you guys, I do things by color. So I've gone from, like, I don't know if you guys will be able to see it from this angle, but, like, gold to creams to whites to pinks, blues, navy blue, and then black in that like duster jacket section. Now, I don't really have many dresses. Like I'm not a huge dress person. I'd rather skirts than dresses. Um, but like any evening wear dresses and things like that, I have in a different closet, which I can't remember if I mentioned that to you guys. So in case you're wondering why you don't see a lot of dresses, that's why it's not in here. And it's not something I grab for often. So that's, that's why. I think I have in here, I've got one blue dress here. Uh, that's, Oh no, and I've got one navy dress underneath here as well, like a long sleeve navy dress. That's that's kind of it, guys. <laughs> the rest of it is like, I'm a blazer junkie and like a duster jacket junkie, so that's what all of this section right here is. Like, I could not get enough of them. And long white blouses, that's my other weakness because I kind of use them as tunics as well. So I love stuff like this. I think a white button up is just so incredibly chic. Even if you're just putting it with denim and dressing it down, it looks beautiful, but of course, if you put this with like black slacks or um, even a colored slack or something and like put the right accessories with it, oh my God, it looks so good. So yeah, I love white blouses. I have them in different lengths, different styles. Like they're just so much fun. I love wearing them. This section here are all my tops. So again, color grading for all of them. And I also recommend putting them by sleeve length. Now you don't have to do this, it's an extra step, but I find it a little bit easier to do that. So I have a small section of black, because uh, the dusters end here. So I've got like just a small section of black shirts, it's not much. And I've got white and creams. Um, I've got, I love creams, they're just so beautiful. Um, I've got a big section of blue, I love blue. Like it's just, ugh. Um, and then I've got red. Red I love, but it's just not something I often gravitate towards. It's just not like my color, do you know what I mean? Like some people freaking love red. I have clients that are like obsessed with red. Paula's obsessed with red. Like it's just, but that's part of their personality style. Like I talk to my clients a lot about styles that resonate with them as a person. Uh, and I talk about that in my online style course. So if you guys want to learn more about that, you can check the link in the description box because the registration for it's open now and it's only going to be the once a year that I offer it. Um, and then I've got this cool purple, which I wanted to talk to you guys about because this shirt, honestly, I've had for, oh, I don't know, like six or seven years. And one of the common things I hear in people's closets is like, oh, it's so old. Like I could toss that. No big deal. 
but you know what like unless it looks really old or it looks dated or it's not serving you you can't figure out a way to style it why are you throwing it out like age is nothing when it comes to clothing unless it's falling apart and it looks like it's had its love like you you know it's time to pass it on or donate it or whatever you don't need to throw clothing out just because you've had it a long time that's what clothing's for you're meant to wear your stuff right so um this one like i said yeah it's been six or seven years and i still love it and at the far end i've got like just some brown uh blouses and then i've got this multicolored like green one that you guys have seen a gazillion times from zara i know you have seen it um and yeah that's the top section okay i was worried about sound so we're going back to help handheld sorry guys <laughs> um okay this bottom row here are all pants so i have a mixture of a, quite a bit of denim you can see i'm a bit of a denim junkie and um again they're in a color gradient so i've got black so i've got anything from trousers in here um sorry they're kind of tucked behind the stuff here so i've got like trousers denim i've got some leather leggings uh in here or pleather leggings i should say and then i've got some trousers again some jeans more trousers uh and then here's those joe fresh culottes that i was showing you guys love these they're so much fun and then i have some printed pants these three prints so you guys know i love my prints and then i start going into more of like oh actually this is i forgot about this or not forgot about it but i've got a camo pant there i love camo if any of my squad babes are watching it's kind of an ongoing joke how much we all love camo and how much we all love uh, floral pants <laughs> <laughs> so even though this is black to me the colors in this pant stick out more so that's why I put it with like the red uh, pant here and like the pink so I've got one red culotte I've got one pair of pink pants I've got two camel trousers that I love actually I think both of them are culottes if I'm not mistaken I think those are both culottes and then I have one wide leg white or like it's like an off-white pant um, from Club Monaco that I'm obsessed with it's super super wide leg I think it's absolutely stunning and for those of you that are wondering if you can wear white this time of year yes you can I actually made a video on how to wear white in like the fall winter season so I'll leave that linked down below for you guys but especially this time of year when we're getting close to the holidays like there's nothing more chic in my opinion than winter whites like they just look so good okay so moving on from the first section here oh actually I forgot to show you guys I have a little chandelier up there or like kind of like a chandelier I just really love this light fixture it is so cool I love the like mesh netting around it and then the little crystals that drop below is that not so cute okay next section is my shoes or a part of them anyway I'm a shoe junkie you guys know that so um I tried to organize the shoe section by color as well again ease of finding it I also thought it just looked aesthetically pretty so I have one facing out and then the next pair uh, facing the opposite direction it's a little bit more of a space saver that way so that's why I organized them like that. So up top I have these brown shoes I got from Browns. These are from Aldo. I haven't got a clue. <laughs> Michael Kors. Uh, these were from Saks Off the Fifth. Zara, Le Chateau, Sergio Rossi, for, Rossi sorry, from Saks Off Fifth. These are by Coach, also Saks Off Fifth. Forever 21, Zara, Zara, Zara. Uh, these are from Aldo, Forever 21, Zara, Aldo, Aldo. <laughs> Zara, Saks Off Fifth, Coach, or are they Coach? I think they're Coach, um, Aldo and Aldo. So these are just like my fun, affordable shoes. Um, like I said, I love to mix high and low in my closet. I think it's a lot of fun. And I just love how they aesthetically looked. Now, all of my investment shoes are up above in boxes, which looks so messy. I hate that. Um, but the reason I did that is because when we move, I don't want to damage them because they are investment shoes. And I do know at a glance what is what, because normally I tell clients that if it's out of sight, it's out of mind. And I would not recommend keeping things in boxes just because you forget about them. They are not inspiring you like the same way they would if they were out on display here. So I don't like the setup, but I want to be able to move them easily when Sean and I do move. So I've just got them all kind of stored um, up here but like I said for me personally just because I remember shoes because they're just my jam um, I do have them in boxes for now but once we move I will have them on display like everything everything else so hopefully that makes sense now most of my shoes there's a few that I bought full price but most of the stuff and this is my tip to you guys like look at places like Nordstrom Rack, Saks Off Fifth, the Outnet, um, Hunt Down, Net -a Porter or Farfetch or whatever in their sale seasons you can get really great uh, scores sorry for designer pieces at half price that is often what I do um, so you're not paying such a markup um, but yeah like I I love 
love love found probably over the past oh gosh I would say at least 12 to 15 years so this has been a long time coming just so you guys don't think I'm like some crazy shopping nut I mean I am but I'm not totally insane I do keep budget in mind <laughs> and build slowly so I know I love everything okay now from the shoes we merge on into jackets because again I'm a jacket layer junkie so this is the only section in my closet where you notice the hangers are different and that's just because jackets require a little bit more support in the shoulder just so you aren't uh, ruining your jacket so again it doesn't have to be expensive I got these hangers that are white hang on I'll see if I can show you the full thing yeah this is just like a basic wooden hanger and these are from Ikea but they're a little bit thicker so they'll be more supportive oops this is really hard to put on when you're holding a camera um, so they're just more supportive for the shoulder shoulder padding if there's any um, and basic structure of the jacket so I would recommend getting a thicker style um, hanger for your blazers and outerwear pieces just so that they're supported properly but again you can see it's color coordinated and um, I threw all of my like basic layering jackets so I've got denim jackets um, I think there's one black blazer in there some navy na printed navy uh, camel more prints colors and then I've got my whites and creams because it's just an obsession of mine this one actually I love this is one of my favorite blazers I got it from this boutique in Toronto called Frida's this is by the company Marcane. the color of that oh my god yes ma'am um but again I've got a mixture of high and low so I've got a lot of like Zara's long uh inverted lapel frock jackets because they're some of my favorite it just has a really nice cut for someone that needs a little bit more definition around the waist so if you guys are looking for a blazer like that I highly recommend I love blazers it's a total total obsession of mine and some of these again are older like I know this purple blazer I've had forever it's by Rachel Zoe it was the first year her line came out which was I mean oh my gosh it must be at least six or seven years ago now maybe longer but I love the color of it it's in my palette oh it's such a beautiful cut so again age doesn't mean anything in the closet oh this is gonna drive me nuts I didn't put that back right um but yeah age is nothing in a closet it's really a matter of how much you love something and the condition it's in so pay attention to condition like if your pieces are wearing out obviously it's time to consider repurchasing something similar if you do really love it or just donating it right and moving on so moving down we go into the skirt section um now this one is basically I mean they're not all pleated skirts but a lot of them are I'm not gonna lie but you guys know I have a pleated skirt obsession like it's just my jam so um you'll see on the far left here that's that plaid skirt from Zara that was in my pre-fall haul um this leopard skirt which oh my god you guys ask so much about <laughs> this was from H&M but it sold out so quickly um but I mean maybe check back and see if H&M restocks I don't know um then I've got the gold pleated skirt that you guys would have seen in my photo shoot oh and p.s I have these all like hung over um, or folded over which normally I wouldn't recommend for me right now it's a space saver just because this section of the closet isn't long enough for me to put them on like a proper hanger and have them drape down so this is a temporary solution again until Sean and I move but um yeah that's currently how I organize the skirts I wouldn't recommend it long term but that's just what I'm currently currently doing so I'm sorry yeah so Zara H&M this one was from a boutique in Toronto that gold metallic skirt you saw in my photo shoot this leopard one was from Banana Republic a few years ago um this is a tool um style skirt from Le Chateau a few years back this is a really beautiful piece this black and white one it's actually black and white I've worn it to a couple of weddings it's such a beautiful piece like oh my god such a beautiful piece um this metallic silver skirt was from ASOS this gold and silver one it's actually in a really cool fabric too which I don't know if it'll show up but this is from Zara and this one's another skirt you guys ask about all the time this is a skirt a pleated skirt by the company Lulu Mari uh, that I bought from a boutique in Toronto but I love the color like it's so cute uh, this is the anthropology skirt you guys saw in my haul over vlogmas this is a skirt by LHD I love this brand oh my god look at the color in this Ooh! it's a beautiful silk skirt it is absolutely stunning gives me like Roman holiday vibes um, again Lulumari Lulumari I kind of bought those three around the same time because I loved the palette or the skirts were in my palette which I loved and then I have a couple of nude skirts this one is from Zara just a basic a-line skirt uh, this is from Club Monaco it's this gorgeous blush pink 
which I'm obsessed with. And this baby, you guys know I love. This is from Forever 21. Oh my God, give me the color. <laughs> Use this stuff, by the way. I told you some of the stuff's not finished or like kind of banged up, but we're just gonna ignore that. No big deal. From afar, it looks okay. All right, so in here we have a section of like small bags and clutches. So this bag here is my like weekend traveler bag. So I just throw it in there because it folds up nicely. And all of this, even though it looks like chaos, is actually organized. <laughs> so the majority of this is basically all clutches because I'm a clutch junkie as well. Um, I have a mini bag from Coach in here. And then I've just got some no-name stuff. So I've got Toronto Blue Jays like bag that I love bringing with me when I go to their games. I'm a huge Toronto Blue Jay nut. Um, love my Jays. Um, I also have a like denim style embroidery bag underneath there. Just again, no name. It was from a local boutique. I also have some embroidered uh, clutches under here, some sequin clutches. Um, this one was from, I think H&M if I'm not mistaken. Love that. I love like the texture and the gold. Um, this was also from a local boutique. Love that. How fun is that clutch? Like, so cute. Uh, and then I've got, like, a basic sequin clutch. I literally have had this... I think I might have used this, actually, when I got married, if I'm not mistaken, like, during the reception. It's so old. Like, so old. Um, I have this really cool colored clutch from French Connection. Again, I've had it for years. I love this clutch. This is from a local boutique. But, like, how cool is that? And then I've just got some more clutches under here. Like, they're just fun things, right? None of them are like investment ones. Actually, I've got one, or sorry, two investment clutches. So I'll show you those quick just because they're cool. So one is by uh, Bayo Bayo Izumiyaki. I think I'm pronouncing that correctly. If I can get it. Yeah, see that? Oops. How fun is that, guys? I love the like holographic coloring. Oh my God, it's so fun. And then the last semi-investment clutch was this one. Um, which I love the texture and colors of like is that not so pretty and this is by the company called mother of pearl This is an oldie. I've had this one for like years and years and years, but I really really love it It's just so pretty. Okay, so moving on from this bottom drawer to the next we actually have a fairly empty drawer to be honest um, This is my drawer where I'll keep um, some of my fuller skirts that you just can't hang because they'll you'll damage them So one is a sequin skirt. You guys have probably seen this from uh, Zara if you have sequin pieces I recommend flipping them inside out and you store them just so that they don't catch on other materials um, and you don't damage the sequins either. So that's why it's flipped inside out and just laying flat. And then I have this really beautiful skirt that you guys also would have seen if you're OG subscribers. This is from Self Portrait, um, but the band is more of an elastic. So I don't like holding those up on like a clip because I find it stretches out. So that's why I've got it laying flat in here. And then these are more fitted skirts, but they're like casual knit fabrics that I've had for like years and years and years. Um, they're just fast fashion ones, but I've just got them folded there. And then one longer uh, dress, um, they again, had for years, are sweaters. So for all the sweaters, I try and keep ones that are a little bit more of a thin knit or a thin wool uh, in here. And then I try and put stuff, if I can, by color, like I try and organize a little bit by color. So there's usually like three or four to a stack. If you have knits at home, you always want to keep them folded so you don't damage them. Like damaged shoulders don't hold or hang knits up. And then this one's like more bulky sweaters. So I tried to put them together by color, but honestly, there's not much rhyme or reason up here. These um, three here, there's a gray one, a blue, and a white. These are all from Club Monaco. They're actually sweater dresses. This sweater dress, which you guys would have seen in my photo shoot also, is from H&M. And then these are just some bulky like knit sweaters. These two here are from H&M. This one's from ASOS. I love that color, that chartreuse. And this is like kind of like an overlayer poncho. And then I've got a sequined uh, cardigan under here that I keep in a bag because it snags everything. You can't even turn it inside out. Um, but yeah, so like just basic sweater drawer, like nothing fancy. And then this very top drawer are like t-shirts and tanks, like kind of miscellaneous stuff. So I have a few long sleeve uh, shirts here like just basic layering shirts. I have a stack of t-shirts because t-shirts you can never go wrong with and I like having them in color. Now my basic like white and a few navy ones are actually up hanging in like the t-shirt section. Section is like basically graphic tees and like kind of funkier shirts so I leave that there. This one's like just miscellaneous tanks like more knitted textures and things like that. 
And then I have like your basic stretchy like fitted tanks um, that I don't recommend investing in. They're like H&M stuff like that um, that I've got stored there that I can use as layering pieces. And the very last drawer is below the pants. And in here, I just keep hats, guys. A lot of you ask how I store hats. Um, so first of all, I have a friend who I love and adore. Her name is Blair Nadeau. I'm going to show you one of her pieces here. Actually, this is her... Um, so her company is called, or used to be called Feathered. I think she just goes by Blair Nadeau now. Um, but she makes the most beautiful fascinators. Her stuff was actually on the show Rain, if any of you watched that. But like, look at these pieces. They are beautifully handcrafted. Um, she's so freaking talented. I can't even like, it's just, oh my God, her stuff is like out of this world. So if you guys want a good fascinator or like a headpiece or something like that, seriously, go look at her stuff. You won't regret it. Actually, let me see if I can pull. Look, look at that one in there. I mean, hi, how are ya? Isn't that not gorgeous? Oh my God, I love her stuff. I have quite a few of her pieces because I was always wearing them at like fashion week or like for bridal showers or stuff like that. I just, I was like, she's so talented, I could cry. Um, I have just some basic like headbands uh, here in a few colors. And I've got my South Carolina Hilton Head baseball cap, I just love that. And then I also have just some soft hats. So I've got like a black beanie, my full, or sorry, my wool beret, um, another pink beret, some Baker Boy hats. Um, oh, another pink baseball cap. Um, this is a hat that I got from the one of a kind show that you guys just saw. And then I've got a straw hat that's from Club Monaco underneath. And one other like cheapo straw hat from, I think it was Jean Machine if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, that's the last drawer. Hats are a little bit harder to store. I do have two other baseball caps that I wear more frequently, but those are hung at the front uh, door. Anyway, my angels, that is it for the closet tour. I hope you enjoyed it. Some of you are probably gonna think that's not much for a stylist. Other of you may think that's a lot for a closet. Um, I'm happy with it. I don't need an overkill of stuff. I mean, I have a lot, or I think I have a lot anyway, but it all gets used, which is the whole point of your closet. Um, that's what you want. So anyway, if you guys have any questions, obviously you can leave them down below. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And again, if any of you want any help with your personal style for me, uh, the closest I can get to doing a makeover with you in person is to have you go through my personal style course, which is all online, but you have access to me during that course. So I'll leave the link for it down below because as I said, registration is now open. But hope you enjoyed this vlog and I'll see you in tomorrow's Vlogmas. Mwah. Bye guys.